this tea was simply tremendous. A truly fitting find for nobles such as ourselves. Yes, but I fear it pales in comparison to the tea cakes you so thoughtfully procured. And yet, far more than the provisions themselves, it is your noble self who deserves the greatest measure of praise for organizing this most festive occasion. My dear Lawrence, you flatter me. Yet I must once again return to this lovely tea which has soothed my weary soul. Truly, it is a testament to your impeccable character and taste. Why, Ferdinand, now it is you who flatters me. Ah, but my hackneyed words could never do justice to a pinnacle of nobility such as yourself. Nay, those hackneyed words have become pure poetry by the alchemy of your noble idiom. Uh... My, what fine examples of nobility you are. The two of you shine brighter than any sun, and make my own visage all the sadder as a result. Good day, Constance. Not feeling well, are we? I had thought to offer you some tea, but... Oh, don't worry about me, Lawrence. I'm quite all right. Well, I certainly won't force you, but do let me know if you change your mind. Hmm. Yes, well, there was something I wanted to ask you. Though I fear it's a rather difficult question. I have all confidence the two of us are up to the challenge. Indeed. There has not been a question yet posed that could stump the two noblest of nobles. In that case, and again, please forgive my impudence, but... I notice you both complimenting each other regarding your suitability to your noble stations. But it is an impossibility for the two of you to be perfectly equal in this. One must be the most suited, the most noble. So, which of you is it? Which one of us? I fear you misunderstand. This is not a competition, and would be unbecoming of nobles to compare ourselves in such a manner. But are you not constantly comparing yourselves? You are the most noble, nay, it is clearly you, sir, etc., etc. Hmm. You know, you may be right. Now, hold just one moment. It is true that we compare each other in a purely literal sense, but it is only so we might take pride in our collective peerage. And in that we are equal, for there are no degrees of true nobility. Again, forgive me, but it sounds as if there are indeed differences. You merely turn a blind eye to them in order to avoid unseemly competition. In any case, if that is the stance you both wish to take, I'll not press the matter further. Enjoy your shared throne at the pinnacle of nobility. No, wait a moment. You make it sound as if we refuse to compete because we fear losing to the other. Indeed. I had assumed we were sharing a large divan. But if we are actually squeezing ourselves into a single seat, that is another matter entirely. Not at all. You both are wonderful, perfect nobles. Uh hmm. Hmm. I cannot back down from this challenge. Doing so would disgrace my very name. Indeed. We must determine for good and all who of us is the noble most true. A splendid turn of events, and one I am most undeserving of. I knew I could count on the two of you to reach the appropriate conclusion. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, we most certainly are not. In fact, I nominate you to serve as arbitrator for our competition. Here, here. You may also select the criteria. Okay, but I warn you, 
My eye for talent pretty much begins and ends at the battlefield. Still, I fear you will have to do. In that case, how about we use the results of the next training battle? That should be pretty clear-cut. Hmm, yes. A lord must be able to command their soldiers, after all. An exemplary measure of a noble's worth. And you will also bear witness to our personal prowess as well. For a true noble must be able to safeguard themselves from injury above all else. Sounds like a plan. I'll let Edelgard know. To think my off-the-cuff remark would lead to this. But the stakes could not be higher. For the winner will be forever known as the noblest of all nobles in the land. Haven't you fanned the flames enough, Constance? We will now commit. Not a problem. I've got this. Leave this to me. Now it is my turn. There is nothing I just do as I planned. I shall take it from here. Since today's training man. battle, defeat every enemy within the time limit. <laughs> Fool! Did you think I would just sit the battle out? Constance. I see. Well, I will not be so easily outdone. I will prove to all that I am the truest noble. Watch closely, my mercenary friend. Witness the might of Ferdinand von Eyre. There's not a question of can. Leave this to me. Hi, here I go. A point! A most palpable point for constant bottom bell! I can still fight! Not a problem. I've got this. Now it is my turn. There. <laughs> Lawrence Helman Gloucester stands before you. <laughs> not falter. Trample before you. Just do as I planned. I shall take it from here. There is none shall surprise. Mark's general is entering the fray. Their defeat will extend the time limit. have been rather bored to come up with this competition. But this is your idea in the first place. Actually, Lawrence, that was a different... No, never mind. It would take far too long to explain. You should be ashamed. Now it is... There is nothing I cannot do. There is not a quest. Leave this to me. I've got to take a breather. <laughs> Must 
make use of this momentum. Second unit, advance. Reinforcements, huh? One. More fodder for my noble persons. Not a problem. I've got this. Leave this to me. Now it is my turn. There is nothing I cannot do. Not a problem. I've got this. My turn. They are no match for us. I have you. General is entering the fray. Practice will be further extended if they are defeated. There is not a question of can. Only a mat. Leave this to me. Just do as I planned. I shall take it from here. I've got to take a breather. <laughs> Back in the day, Constance and I were the twin flowers of Envar High Society. And now, the bright red rose of House Gloucester has made that number three. Now hold on a minute. I want no part of this spell bouquet, sinners. I've got this. There is not a question of can. Only leave this to me. Now it is my turn. There is nothing I can. I shall take a fine choice. <laughs> See for yourself how strong we are. <laughs> The Empire's officers are mighty indeed. Why the soldiers of my realm can scarce compare. This new strength isn't everything. Just look at my house as Pegasus knights. Indeed. Many battles come down to chance. No matter how superior the force, nothing is ever assured. Question of can. Leave this to me. There is nothing I cannot do. Not a problem. I'm here to help. My turn at last. <laughs> I wonder.
wrestler who fell the most. You were keeping score, yes. Once we get back, you can announce the winner to all. Sure, let me just add things up and... Huh? We heard tell of your pathetic little game. We've come to put you in your place. Not a problem. I've got this. There is not a question of can. Only a matter of will. Leave this to- Just do as I planned. I shall- Dorothea, I swear we did not intend to mock this trade. It is simply that as nobles we- There's no need for excuses, Lawrence. I'm sure serious practice is far too boring for big fancy nobles like you. Happy? Why are you here? No, I don't know. The bird invited me and it sounded like fun. Now it is my turn. There is nothing I cannot do. Leave the I am your man. You got me. Oh, then you're not actually mad, by the way. I was honestly glad to get some practice in. You. I should have known you would look to interfere. I believe you are the ones interfering with an official Imperial training session. We are really here to do our jobs. Hey, what happened with your competition anyway? I hope Coco won. Fair enough. Seeing as this was rather fun, I will overlook your churlishness. Practice is concluded. All units withdraw. I will not stop until I achieve greatness. This is suitable. Mastery is within my grasp! Oh, what an exhilarating military exercise! But now, let's have the results. Yes, please. No need to beat around the bush. No matter the result, my pride as a noble will remain as solid as bedrock. In that case, let's get to it. So, after tallying it all up... And the winner is... Constance? Hold on a sec. <laughs> I suspected as much! House Nouvelle shall rise again! Just you wait. You weren't even meant to be a part of this. But alas, a loss is a loss. You were quite a sight out there today, Constance. You handled the both of us with a plum. Well, well, what good sports you are. Still, I can't help but feel a little sorry about this, seeing as it was my idea in the first place. <laughs> An unnecessary apology. Your results clearly speak for themselves. Quite right. And I think some tea is in order to celebrate your victory. A fine idea! But in that case, you must permit me to lend my magical touch to the tea-making! Hold, Constance. 
I think we can make do without your magic today. We just had a large practice skirmish, and I imagine there are many people trying to sleep at this hour. Your magic makes the tea shine so bright, it could easily disturb them. A point well made. In that case, I'll leave the tea to others and dazzle you instead with my sparkling conversation. This will be the best tea you have ever tasted. For it comes straight from House Gloucester's private reserve. <laughs> and I will provide tea cakes to match. Each one made to order by the very hands of Ferdinand von Eyre himself. <laughs> this will be ever so much fun! <laughs> Didn't you just say people are trying to sleep? I'm starting to think these three shouldn't be allowed to hang out with each other anymore.